Larry Ellison's advice on being different and innovative. Kemons Wilson and his family decided that summer will be a good time to go for a family vacation. Guess what? Summer came and it was time to go on a motoring vacation. Unfortunately, at the end of the day, it wasn't anything close to fun as there was nothing special about it. Why? Mr. Wilson, his wife and five children had no choice but to lodge in one room at the motel because at the time, most of the motels that existed were expensive and poor quality motels. It was the year 1952 and a motel room only cost about $8 a night but the proprietors inevitably charged $2 extra for each child. So the $89 charge soon ballooned into an $18 charge for a family, Wilson explained. If you could get a room with two beds, our two daughters slept in one and Dorothy and I slept in the other, our three boys slept on the floor in sleeping bags. Sometimes there was a dollar deposit for the key and another dollar for the use of a television. While still at the motel, Wilson thought to himself, I could build a chain of affordable hotels stretching from coast to coast. Families could travel cross country and stay at one of my hotels every night. Larry Ellison, an American businessman, entrepreneur, philanthropist and also the co-founder, the executive chairman and chief technology officer of Oracle Corporation is one of the great leaders in the business entrepreneur sector who has over the years dished out success secrets that have helped entrepreneurs in their quest for success. In this video, I'll share with you one of Larry Ellison's advice about learning to be different and innovative. This I believe will help you become a successful person. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now, according to the business mogul Ellison, if you do everything that everyone else does in business, you're going to lose. The only way to really be ahead is to be different. While Ellison might have used the term business, this advice is not limited to traders alone. It extends to everyone building something, a career, occupation or trade. To be different in this case means to be innovative and think differently from the rest of the world in a manner that will produce a positive outcome. Consider some of the world great leaders, the ability to think differently and to view things from another perspective than the vast majority of people is one peculiar characteristic they possess. For instance, the Wright brothers invented the first successful aeroplane. Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak and Roland Wayne invented Apple Incorporated and others. As Ellison said, these people are successful because they dared to be different. They didn't follow the masses. They were courageous enough to think differently and execute their thoughts in their various careers. Remember, if you do everything that everyone else does in business, you're going to lose. The only way to really be ahead is to be different. Cecil Baton, portrait and war photographer, once said, Be daring, be different, be impractical, be anything that will assert integrity of purpose and imaginative vision against the play it safers, the creatures of the commonplace, the slaves of the ordinary. Being different and innovative sets you aside from the rest of the world. Let's examine it this way. Now, you have eventually figured out what you want to do with your life and how you want to pursue your dreams, only for you to find out that there are many other people out there with similar dreams. So, how do you intend to stand out? This is where your creativity comes to play. Why? If you do everything that everyone else does in business, you're going to lose. The only way to really be ahead is to be different. How to be different from the rest of the world 1. Discover what sets you apart from the rest. It could be your sense of humor, your intelligence, your charm, your kindness, whatever it is that makes you unique and interesting to be around with. Find it out and embrace that uniqueness. That's the first place to begin. Remember, the goal isn't to fit in but to stand out. Albert Einstein said, The person who follows the crowd will usually go no further than the crowd. The person who walks alone is likely to find himself in places no one has ever been before. 
Don't be a part of those who are too insecure about their uniqueness because they care too much about what others think. Jennifer Elizabeth once said, Don't worry if people think you are crazy. You are crazy. You have that kind of intoxicating insanity that lets other people dream outside of the lines and become who they are destined to be. Always remember that if you do everything that everyone else does in business, you are going to lose. The only way to really be ahead is to be different. Once again, Ellison's advice isn't for those in business alone. It's for everyone. 2. Figure out what you are good at Finding out what sets you apart from others is what makes you interesting. But figuring out what you are good at and doing it is what will determine your level of success in any field. Hence, the need to infuse your unique personality into your craft or skill to differentiate you from the majority who are equally doing the same thing. Robert Greene, an American author, said, Become who you are by learning who you are. 3. Constantly seek knowledge So you've discovered what sets you apart from the others and what you're good at. What then is next? Keep growing. How? Constantly seek knowledge. If you are ever going to remain relevant, then you must be willing to grow and constantly keep tabs on new inventions and innovations. Find out how you can get better and be the best at what you do. Remember Mr. Wilson's story? As soon as they returned home, Wilson got straight to work. He did a little bit of research and asked the draftsman to draw up some plans. Eventually, he built his first holiday inn which was opened in Memphis in 1952, clean and cheap. Wilson literally changed the way Americans travel. According to one of America's senator, John Glenn, Kemons Wilson has transformed the motel from the old wayside flea bag into the most popular home away from home. Guess what? By the time Wilson retired in 1979, Holiday Inn was the world's largest lodging chain. This happened because one man, Mr. Wilson, decided to think differently about the idea of a motel and was courageous enough to execute his thought. Do you see why you should dare to be different? Once again, remember Ellison's advice. If you do everything that everyone else does in business, you are going to lose. The only way to really be ahead is to be different. Think of every great leader you know and aspire to be like them. How? dare to be different. Hollywood actor Emma Stone said, What sets you apart can sometimes feel like a burden and it's not and a lot of the time, it's what makes you great. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we unpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.